aren't those photos amazing? Yeah, they were all generated entirely by the Flux model. If you want to create photos like that on your own computer, you're in luck because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Sotai. Flux is a state-of-the-art model for image generation, released by Black Forest Lab. The quality of the images it generates is just incredible, with so much detail and realism. Unlike other top-tier image generation models like Midjourney or DALL-E, what makes Flux special is that it has open-source versions and can be installed for free. In this video, I'm going to walk you through and explain in detail how to set up the Flux model and build a workflow to create your own creative images right on your computer. Alright, let's dive in. First, to quickly install and use Flux, you need to install ComfyUI. ComfyUI is a continuously updated node-based user interface designed to support the installation and use of the latest AI models for tasks such as image generation, video generation, and more. To install ComfyUI, simply visit the GitHub link and follow the instructions there. After completing the installation, access the localhost address with port 8188. The interface will appear as shown, indicating that the installation was successful. The next step is to download the necessary Flux model weights and place them in the corresponding folders listed below. The download links for these models will be provided in the video description. Okay, after preparing the necessary resources, we will now build a workflow for the Flux model to follow the author's architecture. You can view the illustration of the Flux model architecture by searching for the keyword Flux Diffusion Architecture on Google and accessing this Reddit blog result. Let's look at the diagram and build the nodes accordingly. First, we have the latent image, which corresponds to the empty latent image node. The parameters width and height will be set to 1024, as the model was trained with that size. Second, we have the text prompt, which will be fed into two encoder models, T5, XXL, and Clip. Correspondingly, we have the Clip Text Encoder Prompt node, and the Dual Clip Loader node, which takes in the T5, XXL, and Clip underscore L models. Time steps, text index, and image index will be assigned values at each time step during the denoising process, which is contained within the sampling process, corresponding to the flux sampler parameter node. This node allows us to adjust parameters such as random seed, sampler method, scheduler method, number of steps, guidance scale, and strength scale. Finally, the flux model is responsible for denoising and inferring the inputs. We use the Load Diffusion Model node to load the Flux 1 model. There are two options, Flux 1 Dev FP8 and Flux 1 Dev. To start, we'll use the Flux 1 Dev model from the author for testing. The output of the Flux model after denoising is a latent code, which is then passed into a VAE model to decode it into an image. This corresponds to the VAE decode node, which represents the decoding process, using a VAE model loaded via the load VAE node. Additionally, I'll include a preview image node to visualize the generated image. Finally, we will connect all the nodes together by linking their respective inputs and outputs, as represented in each node. Okay, everything is set. Now, I will enter the prompt and generate an image. The prompt will be, close-up photo of a woman sitting in the living room. Press the Q button to start and wait for Flux to generate the image. The first generation might take longer due to model loading, but subsequent generations will be faster since the model is cached on the GPU, meaning ComfyUI won't need to reload it. Ok, 
Okay, the image has been generated. I will select Open Image to view it more clearly. As you can see, the workflow has successfully executed. The generated image closely follows the input prompt with sharp and detailed quality. Alright, so I've just shown you guys how to install Flux, set up a workflow, and create some really stunning and vibrant photos. In the next video, I'll walk you through some techniques to get the photo quality you want, like improving skin tones, upscaling images to 4K, or even cutting down image generation time by 80% and reducing VRAM usage. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you'll get notified as soon as I drop new content. See you later. Goodbye.